Been wanting to make a little quick video about this. This is a product subject to change without notice. What we have here is half inch drives, sliding T-handle uh, breaker bars. These are made by Proto for Caterpillar. And what I mean by subject to change, well, first off, Caterpillar is interesting that they are selling tools, <laughs> rebranded <laughs> Proto tools. And I think that's just con for convenience or service, but it's actually not a lot of big companies like that have their own kind of tool line and so i've reviewed this one and i really liked it because it did say cat on it what we have is a 5s9566 ran into this unit just says usa on it what is that that's a 5s9566 they are different but they're just dr pretty dramatically different one has an industrial finish and says cat on it once wherever it is right there this one just has the part number and says USA. This chrome one is a little bit newer, but of course it's chrome versus the old industrial finish. So some people may want have liked the industrial finish. Can't do that anymore. The rod has changed. They decided to chamfer the end where it's just kind of rounded on the earlier ones. Otherwise the heads are real similar. They're still the hollowed out style. A little undercut there so the ball sits in to the detent. That helps prevent the the anvil from wanting to swing downwards when you're trying to get it onto a fastener. Anyway, this is just a, once again a super short video uh, just about that, how the funny nature of products subject to change without notice is that we have two wrenches which are, you know, they're both exactly the same length, half inch drive sliding T-handle breaker bars with the same part number, but they look quite different. One's industrial finish, and one's chrome plated and just thought that was a little bit of a, a little bit amusing and a little bit annoying really when it comes down to it, when you're changing something so dramatic as from being a industrial finish to a chrome you know change the part number you know put a c put a you know make this a five nine five s nine five six six c or something like that and it's also a little bit cheesy not to put the word cat on it because that's kind of the point. I'm sure a lot of people who get Caterpillar tools kind of like the fact that they get something really unique. I have a cat channel of having a tool with the word cat on it. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Catus Maximus out.